today we're going to be making a pyramid and I've pre already prepared some here but so you need to be in cycles have experimental features enabled and then add the modifiers add a subdivision surface if this modifier is set to simple and this is okay for the values and under the materials make sure that in the settings tab you're either add displacement and bump or displacement only okay so should be good to go top view so we're gonna be using generated coordinates so we're between 0 and 1 like I explained in the previous video and first let's create um, a tiling so that we can have multiple pyramids so the first thing I'm going to do is add in a vector math scale so now we change the range which goes between 0 and 1 we change it to go between 0 and whatever the scale value is so if you want I don't know to repeat it eight times along each of the axes so we get 64 in total um, we change this value here but obviously this isn't tiled yet to tile it we use our fraction and there we go so now it's tiled as you can see and then we want the origin to not be at the bottom uh, left but rather at the center so let's move it around using subtract and then 0 0.5 so now you can see it's always at the center so let's change this back to something like 2 there we go and now we're ready to start creating our pyramid so I'm making some room here and by the way if you want to like bring thing like these two closer together you can scale like along the X or along the Y nothing happens now um, it's you and you can also rotate for example if you want to make things go vertical or something don't use rotate that much but I do use scale so first let's add in a separate XYZ and a combine XYZ so we'll make our output be completely in the Z direction because the displacement of our plane should only go up since we're making a pyramid it's not pointing to the sides and we'll be using our X and Y to determine the height so pyramids um, they're symmetric so that's where we're gonna use the absolute value and there we go now if you look at the absolute value for both of these it would be nice if we could combine them together so that um, we get a pyramid like shape and we can do that using um, the maximum so we combine them together now we already have our pyramid as you can see this would be the top of the pyramid and these are the sides but now our pyramid is inverted because this is zero here the plane won't be pushed up and at the sides it will be completely pushed up so if I were to plug this into our Z value and then use the displacement you'll see we get an upside down pyramid which is not what we want so let's quickly um, make it go the other direction so we can multiply by minus one and now it goes the opposite direction but now we're pushing everything down and it's nicer if we just make it go up so let's also add one at the end and that way our values stay between zero and one we don't get negative values so now we have our pyramids but these are pretty boring and pyramids aren't just perfect straight lines they're actually you know they have little steps on them like they're made out of giant blocks so let's do that as well 
again just using math nodes and we'll be using floor so um, let me grab these move them so we have a bit more space so if you just plug the floor into the multiply um, you can see that everything is completely black because these values are between 0 and 1 and floor if anything between 0 and 1 is just 0 so let's add in a multiply to get our steps so maybe multiply by 10 and now <laughs> it's hard maybe um, let's reduce it by like 8 or something no it's too big um, 4 let's, let's keep it now you can see we get our steps but it's suddenly growing very tall and that's because now the values are between 0 and 4 so at the end we should divide by the same value and I think at this point it will be nice if we make a node group and then we can take this value and this value and now we have something so here we can change the steps to how many we want but this isn't realistic either and why isn't this realistic well these are perfect straight edges and that just doesn't happen um, also let me grab the color from this or something this looks weird as you can see this is a perfect right angle and usually what you would do is add a bevel modifier but we can't do that here but we can um, do something else so what I'm going to do here is after the multiply we're going to sp split it into two parts one is floor and the other is fraction and so now we what we get here are repeating values going from 0 to 1 and then if we add them together with our floor so add and then the divide is over here you see we get our perfect pyramid back because the floor takes the integer part and the fraction gives us the um, decimal part so if you add the integer and the decimal part back together you get the same thing but now we can change this fraction because now it's purely linear so for example we could maybe add in a power and then change it to something like 2 and now the values stay between 0 and 1 but the interpolation has changed like I explained in one in the first videos in this series and so the higher this power is the more it will be a right angle and if we go close to zero the um, the shape bends downwards like that um, obviously you could also for example add in a color ramp plug this into there and this into there and then if you're if you think it's more intuitive to play around with it like that now it's at set to linear but we could change it to something like B spline to have it be smoother and yeah so I'm gonna change this back to our power and then add a second input or a third input rather to our group I could rename this to pyramid if you want and to bring it closer together and deselect these and there we go so that's our node setup. 
Um, let's add in a quick material. So delete this and add in our principled shader. It's not a principled shader. There we go. And we'll plug the BSD. And so that's how our pyramids look like right now. Let's give them a um, nice color. And we can do that with a color ramp. And then changing both of these to something yellow, wish. That's a bit too bright, maybe. Something dark. And then let's add in a third one. You can press Ctrl and then click. That changes to be white. So it looks like they're small. Um, bits of the sand reflecting but right now um, it's all the same thing so as you can see I'm sorry so we could add in a white noise texture and that way it's randomized and no matter how far or close you are it's the scale of the noise is going to be the same thing and sand is pretty rough so let's well I don't know <laughs> how to make a perfect sand material but this is okay for now and let's change this to 11 or something and there we go we've got our weird looking pyramid maybe let's change this to 4 now if you see these sort of weird shapes, don't worry, don't change the subdivisions because the subdivisions here are 8 times less than what you're actually going to get when you hit render. So this should vanish if you render. If it's still not great enough then you can change but your render times are going to increase significantly. So for example if I had render now, you can see that those weird artifacts are gone and so yeah but those are our pyramids and yeah thanks for watching if you have any suggestions on videos you want me to make or something you can leave it in the comments i think the next thing we'll be doing is polar coordinates and then we'll maybe make something like a clock or something see ya